In fact, anything that has to do with the world of gardening. The phone lines are open right now at 1-855-424-9825. That's 1-855-424-9825 for your questions and comments. Or John at GardenAmerica.com. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you can also post and comments right page during the broadcast now here's brian main john bagnasco and tiger palafox on the garden america radio and media network and a very pleasant good saturday morning to you how are you welcome back to garden america we are uh, looking at six minutes after the hour back with uh, yours truly brian main good buddy john bagnasco tiger palafox welcome facebook viewers uh, welcome listeners listening in san diego on am 1240 and, of course, uh, later on this afternoon, 2 o'clock on AM 740 in Los Angeles, you can hear the replay of this entire show. That's how we do it. So we want to thank the good folks on AM 740, AM 1240, and, of course, uh, Biz Talk Radio, streaming live throughout the entire country and world, for that matter. 855-424-9825. Questions, comments. Uh, the best way to do it, though, as always, for the past uh, several months, Facebook Live as we monitor those questions and comments. And then uh, to make John feel like he's part of the show, John at GardenAmerica.com. And I trust that John had a good week because uh, you're looking good, John. When you came in this morning, I said to myself, wow. <laughs> Not sure how to react to that. i just like to set you up and then see I did, where you I take it. I had a it. great week, actually. I can tell. Because the weather in San Diego cooled off a little bit. It sure did. So it was good for working out in the garden. I'm on. Un- uh, Uncovering roses that have been covered by weeds. Oh, look, I didn't know I had this. Look at that. How long have I had that? Yeah. Well, it's more like I knew I had that, but I didn't know it was still alive. Where was it? <laughs> I just found it. Yeah. So there's all kinds of stuff going on. We, I think we started talking last week about how fall is for planting. Yes. In, in fact, the southern I'm, states. I made a mention of that this morning on our, our Facebook page. Time to start talking yeah. about fall planting. Oh, before we get into fall planting, I wanted to ask you how... The canna that I gave you, is it still oh, okay? Oh, it's beautiful. Now, you said don't really put it in direct sunlight, so I have it kind of halfway between. I don't believe I said that. Well, I, I think I asked you, should it take direct sunlight? And I think I, I think I said it can take anything. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, well, but it's kind of halfway in between. Yeah, that'd be perfect. It gets half-day sun right now. Right. It, it looks was good. growing under a palm tree where it got uh, sun about half the day. What did you think of the pictures I sent sent you of the, uh, the, the height of the uh, palm? That you gave me. Did I give you a reference in the picture so you can see how tall they are? I remember the one about the fig tree, the ficus. The ficus. You that saw was, that, right? That was huge. It's huge. Yeah. 15, 20 feet already. Yeah. It's amazing. And that was something you just didn't want and threw it away, and I took it out of the trash well, bin. Well, no, and it I wasn't anything it. I didn't want. I'm it kidding. was a weed. I'm kidding. I, it came up from seed. It w- and wasn't it in the same pot as a um, bamboo or not? Was that no, something it else? Was, it was in the ground. Okay. Now you're confusing me. The thing that was in the pot is the same pot as the bamboo that I gave you were the spider plants. That's right. That's and right. I think they choked out your bamboo. They choked it right out. It's <laughs> true. Do you still have the spider plants? No. No. They lasted about a year, though. Got them a good year. It's really hard to kill those. It, it is, but I managed to do it. You know, whenever let me let me give you a little hint. When I don't bring up various plants that I have or talk about plants that I have. They're dead. Just assume that something bad happened. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm actually batting about 900. What would, about the roses I gave you that you put in the hanging basket? The, yeah. hanging, the hanging basket? Yeah, remember Spanky? Yeah, I, I remember Spanky and Alfalfa and Darla. Right. And, and Those uh, are all roses of mine. Right, the uh, R Gang. Uh, roses, right? I the, prefer uh, to think of them as the little rascals. Little rascals, okay. Yeah, but you had Spanky in a hanging basket. I did. Oh yeah. I don't remember that. Wow. Well, I I don't. I'm maybe hurt. maybe I I'm, should. I'm surprised. Maybe and I'm I a little sh- bit hurt. <laughs> Are you taking it back? I'm not taking it back. Maybe so. I should hit my head, and I I might remember. Interesting. I've got you most everything. S- now you bring up hitting your head. Still alive. You know what I did last Tuesday. I went for to the uh, Pacific College of Oriental Medicine. And you had acupuncture done. Oh, that's right. I did have acupuncture. How'd that go? And how did it work? You know, <laughs> they tell you a lot of things that you're not used to hearing, you know, because it's all this chi this and chi that. Right. 
Like what? Like <laughs> Cheetos and yeah, so cheating and. So I never know. I, 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 I never cheat. know if what they say is true or if they're just needling me. Ah, very good. <laughs> Now, he, he, you took a whole week to write that joke. That was good. No, I just thought of it. Okay. But um, one thing that was impressive was if you go to a doctor, it's like 15 minutes if you're lucky, and then he's done. And that you got to wait in his office for an hour. You go in, and then 10, 15 minutes, they're done with you. And and hardly have time to – if if you want to talk to him about more than one thing, you got to make another appointment. My appointment – um, at the acupuncturist was two hours. You, okay, so they set aside two hours for you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, part of it was because it was the first visit. I think subsequent visits are an hour. Okay. So I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. Now, th- for those that, that aren't caught up with, with what's been happening, a couple of years ago you hit your head. You've had some... A year and a half ago. You've had some side effects. You can't taste. What you can taste doesn't taste good. I don't know if it's related to that, but I, I can't taste or smell. Okay, so... And, Except and for bad taste and, and smells. Now, did they give you, like, an idea of how long this should take before it works? Well, they don't know if it will. And then do they, they want said you, it will. Do they want you to come back in? Yeah, I think that they said it would be four to six weeks. All right, well, we'll see. Once a week. We'll keep an eye on that. For four to six weeks. We'll keep an eye on that. We've gone 12 minutes almost without hearing a word from Tiger Palafox, who is uh, keeping us on the air in terms of Uh, Facebook. I just noticed Tiger's here. (laughs) Tiger's here. (laughs) I don't even have my headphones on right now. Do you need them? (laughs) Did you forget to get them? I I forgot to get them, and then the radio show started, and then (laughs) I was just like, ah, I can hear them. I don't have to worry about it yet. You'll you'll need them for our guest. Well, when Jeff is on, I will need them for sure. Speaking of Jeff, uh, he's our guest today. Who is Jeff? What does he do? Jeff Arnold with Smart Pots. Now, Smart Pots, for those of you that don't know, is a, a great device that's broken into the industry for years ago, but they're coming into a lot of favored gardens use because they're so easy to use. It's a fabric pot that you can use for growing vegetables seasonally. Um, they have large bed ones that you can just have like a fabric temporary, pot. temporary raised beds. And it's so something you can fold up and put away. away, and put away for, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, it makes perfect sense for people that have small areas that – because you don't grow vegetables year-round if you're in certain regions. Right, right. And when you have this raised bed that's just sitting there empty for months at a time or, or over the winter, why not have the ability to dump the soil out, fold it up, pack it away, bring it out next spring? So, um, anyways, that he's going to be a lot on, of sense. He's going to be on talking about the products they have and, and why these are – more beneficial than standard pots, besides just the flexibility of them. Now, are these readily available? I mean, if you're a local local store, I mean... Local garden centers stock them. You can buy them online. Really easy to get a hold of. And like I said, because they fold up, shipping is nothing. So they can ship them anywhere. Wow. Fabric pots with Jeff on today's show, Garden America. Quick shout out and good morning to everybody on Facebook who's yelling good morning at us. (laughs) You know what? You're closest to the camera, John. They see you first on those close-up shots. (laughs) So <laughs> that explains why a lot of people will log on and log off immediately. Right away. Ex- yeah. Exactly right. So anyway, no, welcome Facebook uh, viewers. Welcome uh, radio listeners. You know where Tiger and I are going on Wednesday? You're going to a show. A, um, in Santa Rosa. Yes. We're going to the National Heirloom Exposition. Wow. And I think this is like seventh or eighth year for that. I'm I'm not sure on that, but it's just it, going to be excited. your first time. Your first time, it's my right? first time, and I am super excited. And he's going to come back with a lot of ideas. Yep, definitely. Yeah, I think we will get a lot of ideas there. It's a whole other world. Yes, it's uh, Tiger will see what it was like to have lived during the Woodstock era. Ah, <laughs> if we visit, there. It's, it's, it's returning, right? It's all coming back into vogue. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, natural type things. Um, uh, a lot of Aversion to say, um, definitely anti-GMO people, and even uh, to some extent, even uh, natural or not natural, but man-made hybrids. Mm. For instance, Baker Seed, which is one of the largest seed companies, uh, definitely mail order in the world right now, will not sell seeds of anything that's a hybrid. It anything that they sell seed for, you can. Actually, save the seed yourself and and plant, and propagate, and regrow. Right, yeah, okay. plant the next year. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. There'll be a lot of booths there, a lot of displays, uh, a lot of things for sale. Good food. Santa Rosa, just north of San Francisco. And the weather. I checked the weather. The weather's supposed to be perfect. Yeah, so Beautiful. it'll be nice. It's already started 
cooling off a little. You'll be there how long? How many days? Well, uh, we're just going to be there the one day. Okay. So that's Wednesday. And if any of our listeners uh, are oh, going yeah, to be there, yeah, in that send we have us a lot a of listeners in that area of yeah, California. Send us a yeah. Yeah. Or stop stop by and say hi. Yeah. Look let us know. Us. And get those questions on Facebook Live. Well, I can see uh, the page is uh, filling up fast, as uh, John made mention of all the nice people that say good morning and hello and hi and how are you. So we're happy to uh, be here to accommodate that. Got a great show lined up for you today. John's got the quote of the week. But we're going to get to that quote right after this break. All right. That's our tease. Stay with us. It is Saturday morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brian Main, Tiger Palafox. Tiger's going to get his headphones for the interview. Uh, we should have Jeff standing by our guest. He's going to be talking about those uh, fabric pots, Mosquitoes among other things. can transmit deadly diseases, including Zika virus, West Nile virus, and dengue fever. Use Summit Mosquito Dunks to kill mosquitoes before they become disease-spreading pests. Just float an organic mosquito dunk in ponds, bird baths, rain barrels, and any standing water to kill mosquito larvae for 30 days or longer. Don't worry, mosquito dunks won't harm people, pets, fish, birds, or other wildlife. Mosquito dunks are available at fine garden centers and hardware stores. Having bug problems this season? Need an overall solution? Try Natural Guard Spinosad Soap. This combination of spinosad and fatty acids kills aphids, mealybugs, worms, caterpillars, and other bugs that plague your garden. It's also safe to use around your fruit and veggies to make sure you enjoy your crop and not those pesky critters. Find Natural Guard Spinosad Soap in a ready-to-use bottle or ready to spray for those large garden plots at your favorite independent garden center. Go to Fertilome.com for more information. Have you written a book and want to get it published? Then call Page Publishing at 800-557-6095 immediately. That's 800-557-6095. Page Publishing is looking for authors of all types of books. And unlike most publishers, Page Publishing will take the time to review each and every book submitted to them and give you their feedback. If they like what they read, they'll get your book into bookstores and for sale online at Amazon, the Apple iTunes Store, Barnes & Noble, and other outlets. They handle everything. Editing, cover design, copyright protection, printing, publicity, and distribution. So if you've written a novel, children's book, cookbook, inspirational work, poetry, or a biography and want to get it published, then you need to call Page Publishing and do it immediately. Call 800-557-6095 now for your free author submission kit. Again, for your free author submission kit, call 800-557-6095. That's 800-557-6095. Your road to fame and fortune could very well start with this simple phone call. Call Page Publishing at 800 557 6095 for your free author submission kit. As a small business owner, there's one word that you absolutely dread payroll. For small businesses, it's a big burden. You may think you're saving time and money doing it yourself, but come on, are you? Timesheets, processing checks, calculating taxes, a total waste of your time. Paychex simplifies payroll processing, saving you time and money. Submit your payroll online, fax it in, or call your dedicated Paychex payroll specialist. And you're done. Learn more at TryPaychecks.com. Come on, do the math. The IRS dishes out 8 million penalties a year. Make one mistake and you're on the hook. On average, you're losing nearly one business day every month doing payroll. That's time and money you'll never get back. Unless you get paychecks. More than half a million small businesses already do. Call 877-649-5324. Trade payroll pressure for peace of mind. Call now. 877-649-5324. That's 877-649-5324. This is an urgent health notice for all residents suffering from back, neck, knee, and wrist pain. You may qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost to you, but the deadline is fast approaching. Simply call the Health Alert Hotline now. You heard right. You may qualify for a pain-relieving back, neck, knee, or wrist brace. These items may even be covered by Medicare or your private insurance. The Health Alert Hotline is your brace company. These specialized braces have been tested for pain relief. Call us toll-free right now to determine your eligibility and to learn how to use your private insurance or Medicare to minimize your out-of-pocket cost. Don't wait. If the deadline passes, you may lose your opportunity to get a pain-relieving back, neck, knee, or wrist brace at little or no cost to you. 800-306-1760. 800-306-1760. 800-306-1760. That's 800-306-1760. Biz Talk Radio.
Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. We are so happy to have you with us here broadcasting live from the iHeart Media Studios in beautiful San Diego, California, Southern California. Weather's been uh, hot but cooling off just a bit. Love to hear from you, 855-424-9825. Also, john at gardenamerica.com. Facebook Live is blowing up. We appreciate you watching us on Facebook. We're going to get John's quote and then go to Jeff. Yeah, you know, this week's Garden America newsletter uh, had an article that I wrote about Rachel Carson, remembering Rachel Carson. And uh, so I thought it would be appropriate to have the quote of the week from Rachel Carson. I would agree. Okay, and she said, One way to open your eyes is to ask yourself, what if I had never seen this before? And what if I knew I would never see it again? Gives you a different perspective on how to look at something, doesn't it? That's right. Somebody who we have at least heard before (laughs) and hope to hear again, Tiger, is... Jeff Arnold? Yeah. (laughs) Jeff (laughs) Jeff Arnold is here. Yes, Tiger. (laughs) Very good. I don't know what you were setting me up for right there. It kind of worried me. But but you answered the question correctly. That's good, right? And yeah, and we have Jeff ready to go. Jeff is ready to go. He's he's on actually he's on deck right now, taking a few practice weeks. Practice weeks. He's got the uh, heavy bat out and ready to go. Well, I'm excited because we're going to be definitely quizzing him when it comes to the products he he knows about because we're going to be talking smart pots and smart pots are a fabric container. Smart pots, right? Smart. Smart pots. Okay. Okay are a fabric container that people can use as raised garden beds, container patio plants, it, it, a wide range of uses. And it's pretty phenomenal because b- aside from just being flexible in the way that they're used, there's also a lot of good benefits. And Jeff, good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Yeah, everything's coming up roses yeah. here in San Diego. It's one of those beautiful, misty, hazy mornings, and then it'll – carry into i think 94 degrees is i think the projected so it's going to clear today? up and be hot again i okay. yeah, laura in spring valley just posted on facebook that they were looking for 94 even though it's overcast right now yeah it'll definitely be warming up but it's a beautiful day here how about where you're at jeff it's going to be a little bit warm here today yeah so jeff tell I'm us in northern california so it's uh same, same kind of temperatures you guys are getting, just a little warmer. No, oh, okay. Yeah, I think the entire state's kind of do, doing the same <laughs> thing weather-wise. Yeah. yeah. So, Jeff, tell us about Smart Pots and your role with them. Smart Pots are a, a fabric aeration container that um, ha- was developed back in the early 80s um, by a gentleman named Ralph Rieger in, in Oklahoma. And uh, – Ralph was planting trees in his in his um, tree farm, and he decided to come up with a different way to make them so that they would be able to be transplanted, pull them up, move them. Uh, he was looking for a different method than the ball and burlap method. And as a result, this fabric was designed, and he's kind of evolved over the years to what is now the Smart Pot product. Um, Ralph's son, Kurt, now owns the company and runs it. And uh, the the secret to the containers is that they allow airflow through the, the root structure of the plant. So you're allowing air, light um, to circulate in that root mass. It's creating a larger root mass. And it doesn't allow for any um, root circling. So it root prunes the plant. So you're getting a, a much denser root mass. You're not having that one main root that will strangle the plant. Um, it, it, it's definitely a very uh, efficient way to grow a plant. You're going to be able to grow a plant in a, a bigger plant in a smaller container. That's, hey, that's a huge advantage because when trees are root bound, you know how difficult they are to transplant and to to really take off. And if you have a plant that's been grown in a container and you don't have to cut the roots when you transplant it. it it doesn't even know that it's been transplanted it just continues growing exactly and and as you know tiger was pointing out earlier um you know these are re- you 
you know, designed for multiple uses, but we have customers that come to us on a regular basis that say they've had smart pots in their yard for 20 years, or I'm sorry, 15 years, and, and they're still doing doing well. So um, there's something that if you care for them, you can reuse them year after year after year. Hey, Jeff, now you, and I, uh, I've heard this before, I want to touch on this for our listeners, and it's the, the, the term, um, I, I can't remember how you used it, but it was either root prune or air prune, the root system. And basically, for our listeners, what that means is that because there's air, because it's a fabric pot, that the roots stop growing, right? They don't bind against the walls like a standard pot would. So that whole almost choking itself out of the root system doesn't happen because the air, when it gets to the edge of the pot, stops the root from growing, right? That's correct. It, it it actually has a kind of a singes the tip of that root and forces it to put out feeder roots rather than just one big dominant root. So I, I always say when you pull that plant out of a smart pot, you're going to have almost like a Santa Claus beard <laughs> of a root mass yeah. uh, versus that circling root. And and aside from transplanting, like John had mentioned, where you can grow, you can start a plant in a smart pot and then eventually transplant it in your yard. Y you guys advertise smart pots as great ways to do vegetable beds, herb gardens, all kinds of other stuff. And the plants benefit from that style of growing also because it, it doesn't, it doesn't bind up in the container, but it still continues to grow. Right. I mean, you know, eventually the roots don't, don't die out they just continue to replenish themselves is that yeah, correct i think they usually branch when they hit the side yeah you know? right yeah so i mean people can get can kind of confused on you know wait a minute you know if they're if the roots could stop growing how does the plant continue to grow right. no it actually ends up growing better like you know this whole beard and this branching that you're talking about with the root structure it's not that the roots stop and they die it's just that they actually you know, don't bind on themselves anymore. And, and, and the binding is what usually causes people over time. I mean, years and years is when they have watering issues, when they have nutrient issues and things right. like that with standard containers. So no, that's, that's really great. And now you guys sell a wide variety of these smart pots. There's, there's many shapes and styles, right? We do. We sell um, the standard smart pot, which is the round smart pot, from everything from a, a one gallon size to a thousand gallon size. And a thousand gallon. we also <laughs> this year came out with our long beds, which have been a huge hit, which come in six, eight, and 12 foot long lengths. And uh, these are basically an instant raised bed. You can roll them out, fill them up, and plant in them, and you have a raised bed within minutes. But, uh, uh, you know, will last you years and, you know, you can use over and over and over again. So it, it makes it very simple. And the other thing is, is that, you know, rodents tend to not like the fabric. So they may nibble on it a little bit, but typically they don't go through it. So it kind of creates a, its own gopher and mole barrier. Hey, we're going to hey, take Jeff. a break, Jeff. Yeah, sorry about that, uh, Tiger. Got to take okay. a break, Jeff. Hold that thought. No we're going to come right back. Uh, Facebook Live, questions, comments, also John at GardenAmerica.com. Pick up the phone, 855-424-9825. Brian Main, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox, stepping aside, coming right back. Everything is coming up roses in San Diego from October 25th to 29th. Lance Walheim here, and I'm honored to be the keynote speaker at the National Convention of the American Rose Society. BioAdvance and Heirloom Roses will be co-sponsoring the 18th annual Save the Roses auction, along with the rose show, speakers, and festivities of the American Rose Society. So join me at the San Diego Crown Plaza Hotel and Convention Center, and go to GardenAmerica.com and check the homepage for links to registration and event schedule. Do you have an idea for an invention or new product? Do you think companies would be interested in your idea? Do you want to try to get a patent? Then call InventHelp now. InventHelp keeps your idea confidential and explains every step of the invention process. We create professional materials representing your idea and submit it to companies who are looking for new ideas. We have more than 9,000 companies who have agreed to review ideas in confidence. If a company shows interest in manufacturing your invention, we can negotiate on your behalf. 
staff, we have helped over 10,000 clients receive patents. We also offer services including 3D modeling and animation demonstrating your idea, prototyping services, and we use state-of-the-art technology to show InventHelp client ideas to additional companies. Join the thousands of people just like you who chose InventHelp to pursue their idea. We are experienced. We are working for you. We are InventHelp. Call us for free information at 1-800-607-8945. That's 1-800-607-8945. Again, 1-800-607-8945. We are perfectionists. We do it right and don't stop until the job is done. We build commercial zero-turn mowers with maneuverability, power, and comfort. Who are we? We are Kubota. Now, during our More Power to You sales event, you can get long-term financing as low as 0% APR on new commercial-grade Z700 series mowers. For more information or to find a participating dealer, go to Kubota.com. Greece is cheap. But the airfare costs a fortune. Paris? Not much closer. And again, airfare... What about Puerto Vallarta? Let's face it, flying anywhere is just too expensive. Wait, what's this? low-cost airlines with one call to low-cost airlines you'll drastically slash your travel costs we're talking insanely low airline prices to any of your favorite destinations where would you like to go london rome costa rica australia wow that's cheap so why wait call now to learn how crazy cheap it is to fly anywhere in the u.s or international our prices are so low we can't publish them the only way to get them is to call to instantly hear the most amazing best deals on airlines travel it's that easy so call now and start packing 800-217-5107 800-217-5107 800-217-5107 that's 800-217-5107 does your water stain and damage your fixtures does it smell or taste bad are you worried about what's in your water water quality should not be painful and worrisome get hydro care water systems from wave home solutions with the most advanced purification technologies call wave home solutions today at 1-888-989-WAVE or go to greathealthywater.com hydro care will eliminate lime scale that causes hundreds of dollars in damage to pipes and appliances without using salt well water will no longer smell or stain your fixtures city water will be purified of harmful chlorine lead arsenic and chemicals wave home solutions provides the cleanest healthiest water at every faucet satisfaction guaranteed for more information call 1-888-989-WAVE 1-888-989-WAVE or go to greathealthywater.com that's greathealthywater.com wave home solutions for a healthy comfortable home Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-285-4765 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-285-4765. Again, 800-285-4765. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Right back here with uh, Garden America, 35 minutes after the hour, 25 before the top. Happy Saturday, happy weekend. Uh, Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox here. Again, John at GardenAmerica.com. Questions that, that we've seen uh, coming on Facebook Live as well, questions, comments. And again, that's John at GardenAmerica.com or Facebook Live as we continue uh, Tiger with Jeff. Yeah, so before the break, we were chatting with Jeff Arnold with Smart Pots. And 
aside from smart pots they have it, it's high caliber growing is the head company and they have pond pots compost sack big bag bed and then smart pots and then before the break jeff was mentioning some of the variety of containers that they sell because it's not just a matter of having um round you know smart pots for for growing they have beds they have wall wall planters all kinds of wonderful stuff jeff so a little bit more on that now you know you were telling us some of the variety so how do people use these certain pots you know tiger they're they're used locations um we have several colors uh we have black we have tan uh, we just introduced a forest green um and you know as you said we have wall vertical planters we have what we call a saddle bag which can hang over a railing <laughs> um our long bed um, we also have palm pots which are extremely popular for people especially with koi ponds um the big advantage to the palm pots is a plastic pot can break and deteriorate in that water, which a, a fish would rub against it could injure itself. With the fabric, you're never going to have that issue. Um, and, you know, organic gardeners love our products. Um, we're BPA free. We're lead free. We're an inert fabric. We don't, um, the, the fabric will not transfer any chemicals into a plant because there is nothing in it. It's a virgin fabric. So, um, yeah. you know, it's used in multiple applications. Okay. And we have a, we have somebody on Facebook that's wondering where can they go to find these or, or buy them. And I, just so you know, for our listeners out there, I did load up a link and it's just go to smart, go to smartpots.com and they have a link to find retailers, but also find them online. Um, Jeff, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of where Terry is. Do you know anybody? Oh, she doesn't have a location on her. So, um, you know, most local retailers stock these, right? Garden centers throughout the country, uh, hardware stores, feed stores. Easiest way is go onto the, our website, plug in your zip code, and it'll tell you what the nearest retailer is close to you. Plus, they're also available online if you choose to go that direction. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying to people, even if they don't have a local retailer that stocks these, is that these aren't like raised planter boxes that ship in crates and have thousands of dollars for shipping. I mean, it, it folds it in up an envelope into a, and put a stamp on <laughs> put it. A media, and... Put it in a media envelope and uh, get it sent you your go. way for 25 cents. No, but but you can ship exactly. these things very easily. Very inexpensive to ship. Yeah, so, you know, and then, um, Jeff, Tell us a little bit about this idea of, you know, people, you know, the, the one of the huge benefits is that you can use this year after year, but you don't have to keep it out there, right? You can empty it, store it, and then bring it back out next spring. Um, you know, do, do you see this happen a lot throughout the country? We do have customers that, that do exactly that, and they'll just uh, empty them out in the fall or whenever they're done with their gardening and um, they will rinse them out. We just recommend you rinse them out. I suggest using like a, a slight vinegar solution um, that'll help kill anything, bacteria or anything that may be harboring in the fabric um, and, and let them dry and fold them up and put them away and bring them out the next year. I have bags that are sitting in my yard that are out year round. Um, because, you know, I'm continually rotating what's in them, whether it's a winter crop or a, a, a summer crop. Um, so, you know, you can leave them out year-round, but you can also, like like you had mentioned, uh, empty them out, fold them up, and put them away for the winter. And now people, let's talk a little bit about vegetables because we're going to get into fall season for veggies. Um, what are some tips that you have for people growing vegetables in these? How, how, how often do you think you have to water them? Compared to a standard pot, what about fertilizers? What Are there any specific fertilizers you recommend using? I don't recommend any specific fertilizer, but just like any container, um, you're going to want to provide nutrients to it on a regular basis. So, you know, whatever your local garden center recommends for you is what we would suggest. But watering, you do have to adjust your watering a little bit. Um, one thing that you'll find with smart pots is you're never going to overwater. 
because they will expel any water that the plant's not using. But if you're in a hot environment, if you're in a windy environment, you keep in mind that root mass is getting light air and, you know, constantly. So you want to be able to um, water a little more frequently in those hotter environments. But you use a little less water every time you water. Um, the, the root mass becomes much more efficient in the plant because it, there are so many roots versus, you know, dominant roots. And then the last question I have, somebody wrote online here wondering, does, does the fabric allow the pots to grow into the soil at all? If it's sitting on top of soil, do these plants, you know, send roots through the fabric into the soil? You will get some small rooting that'll go through the base. Um, it's not anything major. Uh, my pots, I usually once, once or twice a year, pick them up and move them and clean up underneath them. And if I'm on, if I'm on soil, I do have some small roots that'll feed through half inch, three quarter inch, but it's nothing that's going to allow it to take root. Um, they're just kind of down there doing their thing. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, if you don't, if that's a problem, I always recommend tell people put it on a um, like a paver or a concrete area. It's not going to go through those. Okay. Well, Jeff, if you had a tree that was uh, growing in a pot and then you wanted to put the tree in the ground, you would have to take it out of the pot or cut the pot off. We, we recommend you do, but okay. pot will break down and will allow those roots to, to uh, penetrate that pot because you're soil to soil. So Great. you can leave it that way, but we recommend you take it off just so you don't have any binding. Tiger, you wanted to know where she posted. She's from Alexandria, Virginia. Oh, oh. very nice. Nice. So, and then I, I, we, I guess that our time is uh, pretty much up now with Jeff, but I wanted to let our listeners know there's one other way that you can get one of his planter beds. And how might that be, John? Well, Jeff has uh, kindly offered to donate three of his um, planter boxes, I guess. They're a $60 retail the value. six-foot long beds. Six-foot long. Wow. And what we're going to try to come up with is some type of promo promotion here for okay. next week. Okay. And we'll make sure you tune in next week. We'll yeah. tell you how you can win one. And subscribe so. to the newsletter because the promotion will be listed in the newsletter for next week so people know. There you go. Yep, and we'll talk about uh, subscribing to the newsletter later on in the show as well for those that are still not subscribers, John and Tiger. There you go. <laughs> Well, this well, was really informative. Yeah, this was good. Yeah, good info, Jeff. Thank you very much for joining us this weekend. Um, again, for people that are just now tuning in, smartpots.com for more information. They have wonderful videos and how-tos, a frequently asked questions area as well to answer all those questions that you may have regarding smartpots. And again, what Jeff had mentioned, they have a link that you can go to to find your local retailer or you can find them online. Jeff, thank you very much. Hope you have a good rest of the weekend. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it, and uh, have a great weekend. All right, Jeff, we'll Take be in care. touch. Thank you so much. Okay, Bye -bye. 44 minutes after the hour, and uh, that was uh, yeah, it's interesting. Good stuff. You know, Patty uh, posted on Facebook a question. She wanted to know if the pots were rodent-proof, or maybe she was asking about uh, that's Jeff's a, comment that's a good about question. them resisting rodents. Yeah. And the pots themselves are, he said, would deter rodents. Right. But they still can climb up and get into well, your, yeah. to your uh, With the whatever's pot, the pot themselves, The right. pot themselves are, are rodent-proof or right. resistant, we should say. Yeah. Yeah. And, if, and I'm, you know, I should have thought to ask, but, I mean, the, the fabric that they construct them out of um, is very thick, durable fabric. So I can definitely see how he would say that they are rodent-proof because— Nothing would not want to gnaw on it, be gnawing on steel wool. And I know rodents can be very destructive, but right. nonetheless, yeah. it would be difficult. And like he mentioned, I mean, I've seen these in gardens for years and years and years. Not just the five years like he mentioned, but years after that. So Okay, we're going to take a break. Our final segment coming, coming up already for hour number one. That's how quick the hour's been. Uh, great information from Jeff. Okay, so now's the time uh, for your questions, your comments on Facebook Live. We'll uh, answer uh, practically immediately. You can also send John an email. That's john at gardenamerica.com. 
or as we uh, used to do and still do now and then, 855-424-9825. Welcome to Garden America. Welcome to your weekend. Thank you for joining Mosquitoes us. Mosquitoes can transmit deadly diseases, including Zika virus, West Nile virus, and dengue fever. Use Summit Mosquito Dunks to kill mosquitoes before they become disease-spreading pests. Just float an organic mosquito dunk in ponds, bird baths, rain barrels, and any standing water to kill mosquito larvae for 30 days or longer. Don't worry, mosquito dunks won't harm people, pets, fish, birds, or other wildlife. Mosquito dunks are available at fine garden centers and hardware stores. This is Joe Lample from Growing a Greener World. With the environment in mind, I recommend Melorganite Organic Nitrogen Fertilizer for all your growing needs. From plants to people, active growth requires energy, nutrients, and a balanced diet. Nutrient-rich Melorganite feeds the soil and plants for up to three months. The organic nitrogen is slow release and won't burn plants even during hot, dry weather. Trust the fertilizer proven effective for 90 years. Melorganite for better results naturally. Visit Melorganite.com for a garden center near you. I live alone and rarely have visitors. So when I slipped and fell in the kitchen last month and couldn't get to a phone, I knew I was in trouble. Help! I could barely move. Help! I tried calling for help, but no one could hear me. As I lay there, I couldn't help but think of my kids and grandkids having to go on without me. I was terrified. It took eight hours for my neighbor to find me. It could have been the end of me. That's when I knew I needed Life Alert. With just one press of this button, I'm connected to the Life Alert Center, where I can get the help I need, even when I cannot reach a phone. With Life Alert, I'm never alone. Call 1-800-414-1958 for your free Life Alert brochure. That's 1-800-414-1958. 1-800-414-1958. Call for your free Life Alert brochure today at 1-800-414-1958. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill for pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-521-9579 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-521-9579 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-521-9579. That's 1-800-521-9579. Again, 1-800-521-9579. Do you have an old car sitting in your driveway? How would you like to learn a hassle-free way to get rid of it, help kids in need, and get a great tax donation in the process? It's real easy. One simple free call to our car donation hotline is all it takes. Call the Nishama Foundation at 800-721-6723, 800-721-6723. We'll come pick your car up for free and give you a tax donation for the full value of the car, running or not. The value of your unwanted car will go to help kids in need. It's fast and easy. Just call us and your car will be gone and on its way to helping children in 48 hours. And you get a nice tax deduction. Call the Nishama Foundation now to get rid of your car, help kids, and get a tax write-off. Call 800-721-6723, 800-721-6723, that's 800-721-6723. Does your water stain and damage your fixtures? Does it smell or taste bad? Are you worried about what's in your water? Water quality should not be painful and worrisome. Get HydroCare Water Systems from Wave Home Solutions with the most advanced purification technologies. Call Wave Home Solutions today at one 888-989-WAVE or go to greathealthywater.com. HydroCare will eliminate lime scale that causes hundreds of dollars in damage to pipes and appliances without using salt. Well water will no longer smell or stain your fixtures. City water will be purified of harmful chlorine, lead, arsenic, and chemicals. Wave Home Solutions provides the cleanest, healthiest water at every faucet. Satisfaction guaranteed. For more information, call 1-888-989-WAVE, 1-888-989-WAVE, or go to greathealthywater.com. That's 
GreatHealthyWater.com. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. As we mentioned before the break, uh, this is our final segment for hour number one. But, uh, hey, don't fret because hour two coming up six minutes after. We do appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much. Uh, this is time for your questions and comments, whatever's on your mind at Facebook, Facebook Live, as uh, we continue to monitor that. Also, John at GardenAmerica.com, 855-424-9825, Biz Talk Radio. Having a good time. Uh, Tiger, what's on your mind right now? <laughs> I'm, I'm replying back to our friend Terry, who's asking a question online regarding her bromelia. And um, I she she wrote she has a bromeliad. And she lives in an apartment or a condo right. on the fourth floor on her patio. And she had three <coughs> of them when she moved in. And she says that one got too much light and it died out. And then they she moved it and or moved them. And then it, one got too much shade and it died out. And so she's wondering what she can do. And I was going to reply back to her. The same thing happened to a friend of mine named Goldie. <laughs> um, you know, and she, she just found needed one that was just just right, right in the middle there. So. You know, was Goldie's last name Locks, by the way? <laughs> exactly. Um, but, um, you know, Terry, you know, bromeliads, especially in Alexandria, Virginia, could be difficult because, you know, you guys. Hot and humid. It's hot and humid, which, yep. you know, bromeliads do like humidity. They like hot and humid. You know, but not the direct the, sunlight. The direct sunlight's what's of, killing it. Exactly. And then, it depends on what direction her windows are facing. Right. Let's if see. they're south facing, that's a problem. She says she has an east facing. East facing fourth. is perfect. Well, that means she's getting early morning sun. Yeah, that would be perfect. They can be right near the window in almost any bromelia. There's a few bromeliads that like absolute full hot sun that might not do as well, like a pineapple. Now, if she uh -huh. was facing west, which is obviously it's the setting of the sun, that would be worse, right? Because it's hotter. Yeah, it Usually. can be. Usually, it can be. South is is really the problem. Because, but if she's got a well, isn't well, south, south is, is indirect. All, no, south is all day hot sun. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. That, that whole earth tilting thing we talked about last week. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. You keep the thinking flat, that you're in, in New Zealand or Australia, and then it's north you're worried about. Hey, it's going to be summertime pretty soon in Australia. That's right. It's spring. So you still think the earth is flat, John, right? <laughs> no, I, no, I don't okay. believe I've ever thought that, I, Brian. I, I you thought you discussed that last week. <laughs> No, but, it, you know, one of the things that people need to consider with bromeliads, too, aside from the light issues, is the water. Um, number one is they do like to be kept damp, but definitely don't like to be kept wet. Or and, soggy, right. And, and people have a tendency, you know, they, they fill up the bromeliad with water. And, you know, I mean, that's okay to do, but sometimes it can rot it out. And especially if you have a saucer. Right. You don't want a saucer on a bromeliad. You want that to drain out. All the way out. Because usually bromeliads no are sitting water. planted in like a peat mix. And that will retain water, you know, much stronger than a standard potting soil. So you have to be cautious of that as well. You know, in bromeliads, those cups will hold water. But that's where they grow in the tropics. And they're up in trees. So like you're saying, Tiger, like they're, orchids. They're not, yeah, they're not going to rot. They're epiphytes. But if you've got them in soil... And the water on top of it, then yeah. you can get rotting really easily. Yeah, so I and then the other thing Terry needs to, to watch out <coughs> for is the temperature. If you have them on your patio or your porch during the summer, which is nice, make sure you bring them in before the first frost. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, definitely because uh, Alexandria, Virginia can get a bit chilly. Yeah, absolutely. In the winter uh, Steve's got a question on Facebook. Uh, Tiger. All right. Steve says, I have a mature lemon tree and container is about seven years old and it's growing like crazy, but I can't get lemons. I just gave it fresh organic soil and want to give it some citrus food. What brand of citrus food would you recommend? Um, How long has he had the tree planted? It, well, he says it's seven. It's about seven years old okay, that's, and that's it is growing. And it, ground or pot? We assume the ground. Uh, he says oh. in a container. Okay. So. Seven-year-old citrus in a <coughs> container, 
growing but not fruiting. Um, it took two years, by the way, for me to get fruit from the tree that you gave me. Really? Yes. I'm getting them this year for the first time, and that's after about a year and a half in the pot. And I will say one of the issues that I think Brian would have is because he doesn't have direct sun on his patio, some citrus don't perform as well with indirect light. Um, they would love ideal you know, full sun environments. I mean, right. if you can get the more sun to a citrus, think about where they're from, Florida and California, that you know, not where they're from, but where they thrive. Um, there's the most sun possible. And so if he has it at all in a shady area, that could be problem number yeah. one when it comes to why it's not fruiting. Well, I noticed during the summertime when I have more direct sunlight this year that it did take off. Yeah. Because at this time of the year, well, not now, but between, say, like uh, – Oh, May through September, I get the most sun on the patio. And yeah. so it, it did take off this year. It was very hot and a lot of direct sunlight. So that could very well be the case. And then issue number two that I would say is that if the plant is growing and it looks healthy, I don't think he has a fertilizer problem. I think that he probably has all the nutrients he needs in that He's got a light, a light problem. Well, no, but he could have a micronutrient problem, which is different. Because fertilizer contain NPK. They contain some minerals and, and, and beneficial um, microbes to the plant. But micronutrients are usually lost in fertilizers. And there's a product called Citrus Growers Blend from Grow More, I think. Um, and that is specifically a mix. It comes in a white powder, and it's a, s a specific mix of micronutrients that citrus need to produce. And fertilizers don't have that. So, you know, you ask for a suggestion for a fertilizer. Try e that first of you all, know, right? E.B. Stone Organics has a wonderful fertilizer, but I think that you need the Citrus Growers Blend. And if I remember correctly, the company's called Grow More. And you should be able to find that at most of your local garden centers. Um, pretty, reg pretty regular available product. And it's kind of the one, on, the one thing on mm -hmm. the market that's by itself. I don't, I don't know of another company that would have that under a different name. So, okay. so, so micronutrients. Yeah. And then the last thing is if it's not fruiting after that, um, seven years old, man. Yeah, what, I, what, yeah, I, don't, what, I don't think, I don't know. I don't know what, what else, else John? would cause that. There's always something that can be the cause. <laughs> and I, I just thought of something that's not likely to be the, be the cause, but it's always a but possibility. It, but it, it could be a little bit maybe. Well, it. Uh, he doesn't say where he is, mm -hmm. so I'm wondering if it's a citrus that he bought or one that he grew from seed. Oh, mm. good question. That's excellent. Uh, because I remember growing lemons from seed when I lived in Michigan, and they just they don't bloom. <laughs> so that could be part of the problem. Okay, we're going to take a uh, top-of-the-hour news break. We've got news coming up on many of these uh, BizTalk Radio affiliates, and we thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, AM 1240 San Diego, uh, yes, that's going to do it for you. But the replay this afternoon, AM 740 in Los Angeles. Uh, as I mentioned, after the news, we are back at 6 Minutes After. Facebook Live, get more questions, comments ready. Also, John at GardenAmerica.com. Just a reminder for this Saturday, you're tuned in to the Garden America radio program. Those of the hosts, callers, and guests, and do not necessarily reflect those of this station, Biz Talk Radio, its management, or advertisers. The information on Biz Talk Radio does not constitute a recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or service. If you have any questions about Biz Talk Radio, contact us at 817 274 1609 or at biztalkradio.com. Biz Talk Radio. I'm Wendy King. President Trump is reacting to a critical speech made by former President Obama in Illinois. USA's Robin Walensky reports. I'm sorry I watched it, but I fell asleep. <laughs> Patriotic crowd at a rally in North Dakota as he mocks former President Obama, who came out swinging at him during a speech at the University of Illinois. President Trump campaigning for Senate candidate Republican Kevin Kramer in North Dakota, while Obama trying to get Democrats out to vote. It did not start with Donald Trump. He is a symptom, not the cause. 
He's just capitalizing on resentments that politicians have been fanning for years. For USA Radio News, I'm Robin Walensky. You're listening to USA Radio News. Do you want a more honest media? Hello, my name is Robert Farrell, and I've grown tired of shadow banning, censorship, and one-sided reporting from today's news and social media companies. That's why my team created RightToVoice.com. We don't push a side. That's right, the number two, and voice. We don't push a side. We include all the sides so you can make a choice in what you read and say and what appears on your wall. And we respect your privacy and don't sell your data. RightToVoice.com. It's the only place where you'll get all the news. It's usually one click to join, so check us out today. RightToVoice.com. We don't push aside. Read and say and what appears on your... A Dallas police officer faces manslaughter charges for shooting and killing a neighbor. She mistakenly... A blood sample was drawn. They intend to make the investigation as transparent as possible. 26-year-old Botham Shem Jean is being remembered as a devout and joyful man. Right now, Florence is a tropical storm, but not for long. National Hurricane Center meteorologist Stacy Stewart. Florence's winds are uh, 65 miles per hour, but they will get stronger. Uh, eventually, it will reach hurricane force wind strength of 75 miles per hour, probably sometime uh, late tonight or early Sunday morning. The forecast has Florence making landfall somewhere between North Florida and North Carolina's late next week. You're listening to USA Radio News. Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 800-215-5141. 800-215-5141. 800-215-5141. The people who put together the Oscars have made a big announcement. USA's Chris Barnes reports. And the Oscar goes to... The Oscar goes to... The Oscar goes to... The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences says it's postponing introduction of the new popular Oscar category that it was going to introduce at its upcoming 91st Academy Awards on February 24th. The Academy says in a statement that recognize that implementing any new award nine months into the year creates challenges for films that have already been released. The Board of Governors says it will continue to actively engage in discussion and will seek input regarding the category going forward, but it's already been receiving plenty of unsolicited input from many in the industry who are questioning what a popular award criteria would be. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes. Fans of 60s and 70s TV will remember Bill Gahey as Larry Hagman's sidekick on I Dream of Jeannie. I think we're in trouble. <laughs> Sledgehammer, sledgehammer. And he also played the goofy airline navigator Howard Borden on The Bob Newhart Show. Hi, Howard. Back from Tokyo already? Yeah, I just got back this minute. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't hear me. I flew right over the building. His son says Daly died at his home in New Mexico. He was 91 years old. For USA Radio News. I'm Wendy King. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. 
peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-569-3414. That's 800-569-3414. Again, 800-569-3414. Welcome to the Garden America Show, the country's most listened to gardening program. This is your chance to join us as we talk about gardening, horticulture, landscaping, in fact, anything that has to do with the world of gardening. The phone lines are open right now at 1-855-424-9825. That's 1-855-424-9825 for your questions and comments or john at gardenamerica.com. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you can also post your questions and comments right there on our page during the broadcast. Now, here's Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Palafox on the Garden America Radio and Media Network. Six minutes after, this is our number two. Welcome, Facebook listeners, one and all. However and wherever you're listening to us, we do appreciate it. Uh, John at GardenAmerica.com. Questions, comments uh, here on BizTalk Radio, also Facebook Live. And the phones are open at 855-424-9825. And I do believe as we uh, get back to our number two, uh, Dennis had a question for John, or at least uh, directed the question to you, John. Yeah, I'd like before we go to Dennis, yeah. it was it Dennis or Denise? I think it was Denise. The um, I'd like to finish with Steve. Sure. Yes. Uh, Steve was in Reading, and he said he did grow his lemon tree from a seed. So I had a suggestion for him. Uh, one, since you already have the tree, if you can find a neighbor or a friend who has another lemon, you can graft ah. onto that tree, and then you'll get fruit immediately. Graft a Eureka lemon or a Meyer lemon onto that tree. And now, with computers, you can just go to Facebook and look up how to graft. It's and right you'll there. get all the directions right there. Excuse me. You just 3D print a <laughs> citrus tree. What's that? <laughs> 3D, print. 3D print a citrus tree. There you go. Well, you know, I found a grafting tool on Amazon yep. and for $19, and it goes through and and makes the both sides of the branch like a jigsaw puzzle piece that they just fit together. Like it's just perfect, done. right? Yeah. So you can take a look at that. Anyway, that that's a suggestion. Also, if the tree was grown from a seed, if you cut it back, prune it heavily sometimes, that will force it to bloom the following year. Okay. Uh, usually those trees will eventually bloom, but they can take 10 to 15 years. Okay, and then um, then we what, had Denise, you said? Uh, it was, uh, yeah. Trying to. Denise, yes. Trying to find that on my computer here i'll ask you it's um the two trees so she has a 15 foot chast vitex and the other is a 15 foot grancy gray beard and she wants to transplant them this winter and so she's asking should i root prune these trees now for the planned winter move and she lives in northern mississippi in zone 7b so basically you know she's going to transplant these trees when they're dormant which is good. Which is perfect. Right. But she's wondering if she should prune the roots now in the planned transplant um, time. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Because it will help the um, – it's almost like the air pruning we were talking right. about. It'll There's still time for the roots to grow in the soil, so if you do cut them back – they will branch, and you'll have a better root system when you do eventually go to transplant it. And Grancy then, Graybeard, by the way, <laughs> is a southern. Do you know what that is? Sounds like a pirate. No, it's a <laughs> it's a southern common name for the fringe trees. Oh, oh, that would be a good name for the fringe trees. Yeah, yeah, for the okay. uh, Cananthus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the Vitex. Uh, both those should adapt really well to moving during the winter. And pruning of the tree so right. a 15 foot vitex is a substantial size vitex yeah. um if she was to be transplanting a 15 foot one what would you recommend bringing it down in height you know there's different thoughts about that because we used to tell people 
since the root systems diminished, cut back the, some of the foliage. Yeah, cut back all the branches so that they can support the root system can support a uh, smaller structure. But the mm -hmm. rooting hormones are found in the tips of the branches, the auxins. Right. And if you cut all those off, it's really detrimental to the tree rerooting. Right. So normally what I do when I transplant something, and I'd recommend other people to do it, is to not do any pruning and wait till branches start to relief, relief out. If you do have some branches die, then cut those off. But otherwise, the branches that are growing, leave those until the tree roots back in the ground. And then you can prune after that. And then... Uh, alongside that same thought too, I mean Mississippi, what a great place to transplant because I mean number one, you get the cold, so the so the temperatures drop down you in get the winter everything time you need. that it that it truly sends the trees and shrubs Dormant, into full dormancy, yeah. which is you you can't go wrong when you transplant during that time of year because the tree is basically in a preserved state. It's like a sleeping bear hibernating. Exactly, but then in the spring time they get good substantial amount of rainfall they get this kind of transition into spring you know where people have big problems with this transplanting is areas where it goes straight from you know almost minimal winter to straight summer right you know you know the the southwest in those areas kind of where, sounds like here in san diego where you go from february is the only month you can transplant because that's the coldest month but then come March, it's almost summertime weather, yep. and and the plants don't have this opportunity to adapt. Um, so you know, as John had mentioned, the pruning idea is, is true that you don't want to prune off all that new growth because that's what kind of tells the root system to mm -hmm. grow. That's the the hormones. That's where the hormones come from roots. But at the same time, if you do live in an area like the Southwest that you do transplant things, you definitely want to minimize the old growth on your shrub or tree when transplanting because there's a lot of energy that's going to go into those parts during transplant yeah. that hopefully you can put into the root system and on the younger parts of the tree so dead growth you know and, and that's stuff that you have to plan for now because you can't see dead growth in february the the, the plant is dormant you know you can't always tell which parts of the the plants are dead or the shrub are dead. Dead growth sounds like an oxymoron to me. <laughs> That's true. It does. It is an oxymoron, probably. But, um, you know, dead parts of the plant, you know, right. branches that have that are that are no longer producing. But you can't tell dormant from dead. No, not, not during February. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing looks dead. So, you know, you have to do that now in anticipation of the transplant because you really do, just like a rose, you want to minimize that because you want to put – you want to put the energy into the live parts of the plant. So that's interesting because last week somebody said to me, hey, is John dead? I said, I said, no, he's just dormant. He's dormant. He's just dormant. He's fine. That's all. <laughs> you know, the other thing about being in Mississippi uh, that's good and bad, depending on the time of year I get, is, I guess, is that they have more humidity than we do oh my yeah. gosh. in San Diego. It's and that's better for, the tree, for transplanting trees. One of the problems we have here is that if we – it's too dry the branches dry out before the roots oh can, you see it can bring water up into the tree what do they call that down there bogs yeah when, in the swamps and stuff <laughs> they call it swamps but the, <laughs> yeah swamp but yeah I, absolutely the humidity in mississippi has got to be just uh, through the roof yeah you know and it's funny you know john you mentioned because some people that try to do landscape in the summer um in in our dry areas it's funny because you can have a perfectly healthy plant that you transplant you know, if you transplant it in a hot day, you can water that plant during transplant. And that root ball could be just beautifully wet and perfect. Mm -hmm. But that foliage just dries out so yeah. quick. Yeah. And that plant wilts so quick. And there's nothing you can do to get that foliage to perk back up. I mean, you watered the plant. You do what you can do. But that dry air just wicks the moisture right out. It makes it so tough. Hmm. Tough, tough, tough. 
Oh, man. So so what does that bring us? So we uh, caught up on uh, Facebook questions? I, I do. I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but we have a listener on Facebook that says that she was listening to the wrong show for the first part, and she's pretty bummed out about it. Aww. And I, that's such a John thing. He's always looking <laughs> at what, you know, the uh, the, pe- the people that are listening to or watching our Facebook Live, they don't get the luxury of John to look around the studio and see what people are wearing to make sure he's on the right video so that way he knows which questions to answer. Or, but you know so well welcome back to the show <laughs> i love and then denise wrote in mississippi humidity is referred to air you can wear <laughs> <laughs> i love a, my magnolia that's a state. good one uh, good stuff hey um i got an email from rick up in grants pass oregon and he sent me a picture of some big Zach tomatoes that he had picked. Oh, yeah? And it's a, a healthy crop with some nice big-sized tomatoes. And it's congratulations, Rick, because on the for, side for of my— what he's accomplished? <laughs> well, because on the side of my house, I have a big Zach tomato growing that's probably, let's see, about six to seven feet tall and about six to seven feet wide. This is your big Zach's? The tomato plant, right, right? Without one single tomato all year, dozens really? of flowers, maybe even hundreds of flowers, never a single tomato. Well, it's putting all its effort into the flowers. I'm not. I don't know what's going on there. I have to admit, I haven't taken care of it, but it's growing like crazy. Now, what if I told you that? You'd look at me and roll the eyes if I said I didn't take care of something because it died. Yes, but you deserve it. My plants die out of spite. <laughs> it is a 16 after the hour break time. More Facebook questions. Facebook Live, questions, comments, also John at GardenAmerica.com. Or give us a call. Yeah, give us a call, 855-424-9825 with Tiger, Brian, John. And uh, by the way, happy weekend to you. Mosquitoes can transmit deadly diseases, including Zika virus, West Nile virus, and dengue fever. Use Summit Mosquito Dunks to kill mosquitoes before they become disease-spreading pests. Just float and mosquito dunk in ponds, bird baths, rain barrels, and any standing water to kill mosquito larvae for 30 days or longer. Don't worry, mosquito dunks won't harm people, pets, fish, birds, or other wildlife. Mosquito dunks are available at fine garden centers and hardware stores. Hi, this is gardening expert Melinda Myers. Keeping the environment in mind, I recommend Melorganite slow-release nitrogen fertilizer for all your growing needs. From plants to people, active growth requires energy, nutrients, and a balanced diet. Nutrient-rich Melorganite feeds the soil and plants for up to 10 weeks. The non-burning, non-leaching formula provides a slow and consistent flow of nutrients. Trust the fertilizer proven effective for over 90 years. Melorganite for better results. Visit Melorganite.com for a garden center near you. We paid less for our Craftmatic today than we did 20 years ago. If you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and free information on today's Craftmatic adjustable beds. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Rated number one by consumers nationwide on ConsumerAffairs.com. Craftmatic beds come in all mattress types, including cool gel memory foam for up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Enjoy temporary relief of low back pain, poor circulation, nighttime heart for a mild arthritis. You'll sleep better in a Craftmatic adjustable bed. So if you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and information. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Discover Craftmatic for less, up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Call 1-800-316-5271. That's 1-800-316-5271. 1-800-316-5271. Call now. As a small business owner, there's one word that you absolutely dread, payroll. For small businesses, it's a big burden. You may think you're saving time and money doing it yourself. But come on, are you? Timesheets, processing checks, calculating taxes, a total waste of your time. Paychecks simplifies payroll processing, saving you time and money. Submit your payroll online, fax it in, or call your dedicated Paychecks payroll specialist. And you're done. Learn more at trypaychecks.com. Come on, do the math. The IRS dishes out 8 million penalties a year. Make one mistake and you're on the hook. On average, you're losing nearly one business day every month doing payroll. That's time and money you'll never get back, unless you get paychecks. More than half a million small businesses already do. Call 877-649-5324. Trade payroll pressure for peace of mind. Call now. 877-649-5324. 
877-649-5324. That's 877-649-5324. Do you owe $10,000 or more on at least two federal student loans? Then you may qualify for new programs offered by the Department of Education. These programs can reduce your interest, lower your payments, and possibly qualify you for loan forgiveness. If you have $10,000 or more and at least two federal student loans and currently not in school, you may qualify for one of these programs. Call now to check your eligibility. Student loan advisors are standing by to help you determine if you qualify for these new programs. They can help you reduce your interest, lower your payment, and even forgive a portion of your student loan debt. Take control of your financial future. Make this free five-minute free call now to Nationwide Student Loans and learn how you can reduce your student loan debt. 800-439-1588 800-439-1588 800-439-1588 800-439-1588 Biz Talk Radio Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Right back here. This is hour number two at, uh, let's see, 21 minutes after the hour. Did you see how uh, they described the air in Mississippi? Yeah, it said the comment that it's air you can wear. Air you can wear. That's how thick the humidity is. <laughs> no, we get it. Yeah. Hey. She also mentioned that she loves her magnolia state, and I'm wondering if the, probably the magnolia is the state tree of Mississippi. I would imagine. And at my new house, the new property that I bought and, and building a house, there's two huge uh, magnolia trees there. Which variety? Grand Flora. Really? Yeah. So wow. they, they're just— Out there by themselves with no water. On an empty property? Well, they're right next door to— my neighbors. Your future neighbors. Uh, well, he's my neighbor now. <laughs> so I'm thinking that what'll, what's probably happening is there's probably some water coming, coming from, from his house. Got it. But it's on your property. Yeah, they're on my property. Yeah. So it's interesting. I was, uh, I was looking at uh, standing on the house pad and looking out at the property, and there's uh, hundreds of risers. For the irrigation system <laughs> to cover those two acres that i was thinking what a shame you know that's all got to be go what kind of pad were you standing on house pad well they said house he pad i thought he said helipad yeah he's and i thought no oh, john you're moving up in the world yeah could be used as a helipad you're right now to and from work that's great <laughs> just kind of fly down here to yeah. the station and uh I almost need that to come down here. <laughs> well anybody drive. that has to go through two fruit inspections <laughs> <laughs> that tells you how far away you live but there's only I only have to go through customs once. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. What else hey, is going on? Hey, do we have hey, anything on? Oh, go ahead. Don't no, go ahead, Tiger. I was going to mention uh, in this week's newsletter, a John had posted an article about the Peggy Martin Rose, which you love that rose. I, You're it's really fascinated such a, a by neat it. It's a story. You I like mean, that more than the Peggy Cass Rose? <laughs> Peggy Cass. He doesn't know Peggy. I, Cass. That's why I what? said that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Anyways. For those of you listening who don't know the Peggy Martin Rose, what it was, was the name of that show with her and the monkeys. <laughs> <Let> he, uh, <laughs> she was on a show back in the '60s with monkeys. Peggy Martin, Peggy Cass, <laughs> and then she was on a lot of game shows. But anyway, to your point, Tiger. Yes, yes. the Peggy Martin Rose is was, what you're talking about. I am talking about the Peggy Martin Rose, and it's in our newsletter. If you do not subscribe to our le newsletter, go to GardenAmerica.com. Upper right-hand corner, you can click a link to subscribe to our newsletter. But the Peggy Martin Rose was a rose that survived under 20 feet of salt water during the Katrina, the Hurricane Katrina flood mm -hmm. in Louisiana. And such a neat story because last year, John had it available at the auction, the rose auction. Right. And, you know, that's the kind of roses that he is going to have available is these roses with really neat stories behind them and i asked him i go oh, oh do you have another one available this year he goes no that's the that was the only mm -hmm. one it's so you're going to have one of a kind when i asked him that though he did say not this year but 
probably next year he's going to have the Kiffsgate rose. And he said, oh, you know, you should grow one of the Kiffsgate rose. Kiffs Kiffs Gate Gate Rose. This was a rose we saw while we were on our trip in England. Okay. This rose took up a half an acre, I feel. This thing was massive. What, the the, the actual, it was 60 feet wide at least and about 20 to 30 feet feet tall. tall. (laughs) No, it went up that tree. Yeah. You know, it was pretty tall. It's this massive, beautiful rose absolutely and that's the one that survived katrina right no 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 this oh, is, this is another one this okay no, he's on to another this, story okay. now. no but this rose probably could survive a category eight hurricane i mean this thing is just it could phenomenal. probably survive kilauea <laughs> yeah, exploding <laughs> exactly but i mean you know aside from the size of it it, it is a beautiful very rose and you know these are i just get excited about the rose auction because these are the kinds of things that you know, you find out about sure. you know, plants and and roses are one of those rare plants that have amazing stories behind them, whether they were found underwater or on top of a mountain or, you know, or um, on somebody's grave on somebody's grave, like that, the Sam Hill rose. Exactly. And so to have that story behind these plants is, is really neat. And that's why they do the auction is to preserve the history go. of and, these plants, right? And to save endangered species, and to to uh, you know when people come across roses, like yeah. like John says, you go to a graveyard or a cemetery someplace, and you might stumble onto a rose that you haven't seen in in decades. And Wait, since you guys are bringing this up, <laughs> the the uh, roses that are in the auction are now available for online bidding. If you want to get your bids in for the auction, you can go to CCRS, which stands for California Coastal Rose Society. Tiger's going to put a link up right now. So it's CCRSauction.com, and all 260 roses that are in the auction are listed there. And there's links to help me find roses. roses. So every rose listed, if you want to see a picture and more information, all you got to do is click on a link okay. and it takes you right to that. So, so that's some early bidding that you can get in now. Yeah, go ahead and do that. If you're in parts of the country, we'd love to see you live here in San Diego, but if you can't make it. And the date is October, is it 30th? That's at the it's like the 20... End of, oct- end of October. Yeah. And, and it, it, uh, it'll tell October you 20, October 28th. Yeah, and this is the this is the year the conventions here. This is so it's going to be huge this year, right? Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. It's uh, it's really good, and all the money from the auction is used to procure more rare roses and to support gardens sure. a- around the world that uh, have the responsibility of maintaining uh, the gene pool of these roses that otherwise could could face extinction. So. You're you're doing something good and mm-hmm. uh, and it's it's just a worthwhile thing. I'm I'm doing my bidding right now. I found a rose called canoodling, <laughs> and I'm gonna bid on that one. I, canoodling. You know, often <laughs> I think he's working and all he's doing over there is it's, canoodling. It's canoodling. canoodling. Yeah. You know, I I've told this my favorite story from when Tiger and I uh, took our garden tour to England. My favorite story I've told to people and everyone just gets a kick out of the story and it relates to the Kiffsgate Rose. And I think I've told it here on on air before. So you can go to the refrigerator and get something to drink or eat while nobody you've heard nobody this wants before. to move away from their screen <laughs> or their radio right now. But but I saw this Kif, Kiffsgate Rose and as Tiger is was describing it, it had thousands of blooms on it and each bloom cluster was the size of a basketball what with maybe yeah anywhere from 30 to 100 blooms have, in that cluster i have to assume that somebody took a picture yeah we yeah, have we have also took a video right yeah Beautiful. put the video online okay but anyway i saw this and you know being a rosarian i mean it took my breath away it's like oh my gosh i just can't believe what i'm seeing So my first thought was, uh, once I started breathing again, was I've got to get Tiger to come see this Mm -hmm. So I'm looking all over for Tiger, and I don't see him. And uh, I asked somebody, do you know where Tiger is? And they said, yeah, he's down there. And where he was, I'll have to tell you as soon as we get back from this break. Ah, this will keep you by the radio or the uh, computer screen, Facebook Live viewers, Garden Americans, as we like to call you. 
We are approaching uh, 30 minutes after the hour. Again, another Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon with your garden buddies. Tiger Palafox, I'm Brian Main, John Begnasco. 855-424-9825. Questions, comments, right there, Facebook Live. And then there's also John at GardenAmerica.com. Want a better looking lawn with less effort? Husqvarna's robotic automower is the effortless way to mow. Husqvarna's intelligent design allows the automower to maneuver around your lawn without supervision, even over tricky terrain and around obstacles. It knows when it needs to be charged and directs itself back to the charging dock. With convenient control options, the Husqvarna allows you to set it and forget it, even from your smartphone. Thanks to Husqvarna, you can have a great looking lawn and more time to enjoy it this season. Visit Mission Hills Nursery at 1525 Fort Stockton Drive in San Diego or go to missionhillsnursery.com for more info. Attention investors, respected names in the financial services industry are not evaluating if there will be a significant market downturn, but when. Higher interest rates and prospects of a trade war suggest the stock market is headed into a perilous direction. Subprime mortgages, which are back, could potentially devastate the real estate market, as they did before. And with stocks simply overdue for a fall after this second longest bull run in history, even bullish analysts are recognizing these indicators that equities are in big trouble and have projected stock market losses up to 40%. You can protect your IRA or 401k for maximum safety and opportunity with physical gold and silver as they are asked. Five eight zero six. That's eight five five eight five eight five eight zero six to get your free guide to precious metals investing. Call Augusta Precious Metal today at eight five five eight five eight five eight zero six. That's 855-858-5806. We are perfectionists. We do it right and don't stop until the job is done. We build commercial zero-turn mowers with maneuverability, power, and comfort. Who are we? We are Kubota. Now, during our More Power to You sales event, you can get long-term financing as low as 0% APR on new commercial-grade Z700 series mowers. For more information or to find a participating dealer, go to Kubota.com. Are you ready to leave your corporate job behind and be your own boss? Have you ever dreamed of owning a business? Do you have $50,000 or more sitting around in a 401k? If you answered yes, it's time to invest in yourself by buying or starting a business or franchise. IRS code allows you to use money in a 401k to invest in a business with absolutely no penalties or taxes. At Guided Financial, we've helped more than 11,000 entrepreneurs invest $3 billion in retirement assets into the small businesses and franchises of their dreams. So if you've got $50,000 or more in a 401k and you're looking for a way to start a business, call Guidant Financial now for free information and to learn more. Operators are standing by for your call. 800-570-6630. 800-570-6630. 800-570-6630. That's 800-570-6630. Does your water stain and damage your fixtures? Does it smell or taste bad? Are you worried about about what's in your water. Water quality should not be painful and worrisome. Get HydroCare Water Systems from Wave Home Solutions with the most advanced purification technologies. Call Wave Home Solutions today at 1-888-989-WAVE or go to greathealthywater.com. HydroCare will eliminate lime scale that causes hundreds of dollars in damage to pipes and appliances without using salt. Well water will no longer smell or stain your fixtures. City water will be purified of harmful chlorine, lead, arsenic, and chemicals. Wave Home Solutions provides the cleanest, healthiest water at every faucet. Satisfaction guaranteed. For more information, call 1-888-989-WAVE, 1-888-989-WAVE, or go to greathealthywater.com. That's greathealthywater.com. Wave Home Solutions for a healthy, comfortable home. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, 
dollars, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-285-4765 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-285-4765. Again, 800-285-4765. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. It is Garden America. We uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in as we broadcast live from the iHeartMedia Radio and Entertainment Studios in uh, bright, beautiful San Diego, California. John Bignesco, Brian Main, Tiger Palafox, John at GardenAmerica.com, Facebook Live viewers. Also, uh, you can post your questions uh, right there as we continue to monitor. Anything new since the uh, break? You don't want me to finish my story? I do. I want to make yeah, sure we get all the other business out of the way first. Talking about where he found me in England. Okay, so we've got we've taken care of that. Now back to John. Yeah, if you're just joining us, we were talking about this phenomenal rose that i saw in england and i had to make sure that I, the tiger saw it it was so impressive so i asked somebody where tiger was and they said he's down there and i was at the top of a top of a hill overlooking a that was probably a hundred foot drop down to a little plateau where he was where tiger was and there was was there a pool there a a little pond. Yeah. <laughs> there was a pond. It was a, it was a pool. It was a pool. It was a pool. Yeah. In a grassy area. And that <laughs> overlooked an entire valley. Oh, it was gorgeous. Yeah, the view from there was spectacular. And there were there were several people down there, maybe like about 20, 30 people enjoying the view. So I looked from uh, about down about 100 feet, and I saw a tiger down there. I think there. it was more than 100 feet. But yeah. It could have been more than 100 feet. And so I'm looking, and there there's a little walkway down there. <laughs> But I mean, it is so dangerous going down like a there. Goat it's trail. <laughs> yeah, it was really steep. To negotiate your way down to this hill. To negotiate my way down there, but and I was in a hurry to to go get him right. So. Well, the rose isn't going anywhere. <laughs> I know, but I was really <laughs> excited. Was excited. <laughs> okay. So I I take my life into my hands and I go down this trail and I finally make it to the bottom, and then I go over and tell him that he's got to come take a look at this rose. And, uh, and he gets up and says, okay, let's go. Now you have to walk all the way back now up. Now we have to walk all the way back up, <laughs> which is a little bit safer, but still strenuous. You know, we, we get to the top. I take him over and show him the rose. And he looks at it and starts laughing. And I, I say, you, th you, you think you, that's funny? Yeah, you don't think this was worth coming to see? He goes, oh, yeah. He says, I, I think that it's phenomenal. And I go, why are you laughing? And he goes, well, if I wanted you to see the rose, I would have just called you on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. And I, the thought never entered my mind. <laughs> just, just give him a little phone call there. Yeah, and I oh, thought, that's you know, beautiful. Only a millennial would think of that. <laughs> just call me on my phone. Hey, Tiger, you got to come up here and take a look at this. Yeah. Tiger, do you wear a watch? No. See? Millennial. Yep. Doesn't wear a watch. I don't wear a watch either. <laughs> but, but, but that's because you can't tell time. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a whole different thing. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's a great story. I would have oh, just called you. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's an amazing rose, that Kipskate rose. We should put that on our, on our Facebook page. One, one of the pictures you guys uh, took. Well, I think we put the whole video on our page. Yeah, I'll find it. I'll the video's it. on I'll, our I'll, Facebook yeah, page? Yeah, yes, it is. I'll find it and I I'll missed share that. it. What was I doing that day? <laughs> you know, you're getting to the age where you probably saw it when it first went up. I just forgot about it. And it'll be brand new to you looking at it again. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna, I, think, I'm, I think maybe I'll get you Prevagen for Christmas. <laughs> I, would, I would take that. You can do my, <laughs> it always happens towards the end of our show. It's I weird. Don't know what that is. Why that happened? Because yeah, you have dual I'll take, personalities. I'll take Prevagen, John, sure. Okay. Yeah, there's something wrong with me here on Facebook. Anyway, probably okay on the radio. Probably. This moment of silence has been brought to you by Kipskate. <laughs> <laughs>
No, I'm actually clicking the link right now. For those people, I'm going to post it into our Facebook feed. If you're watching on Facebook Live, you'll be able to go right to the video of John's wonderful Kifskate Rose um, to be able to see what, what it is that he was so excited about. Now, do we have any of those roses here in this, in this country, John? Well, he was saying Yeah, that. I'm sure they're in a few places, but you need a lot of room yeah. for one of these. Uh, I, one of the, There were two women from England who were looking at the rose while Tiger and I were looking at it, and Tiger was filming his video, and the one woman was so impressed, she said, you know, I need to get this. Uh, I'd like it to grow over my garage. And the other woman said, oh, it looks nice here, but it's a thug in your garden. <laughs> I loved it. She did describe it as a thug. A thug. Yeah. So, yeah, that was that was kind of cool. Hey, you know, during the week, my uh, we had, I think it was last Saturday, we had a birthday party for my grandson and granddaughter uh, at the same time. And my uh, oldest son's, uh, was there with his uh, girlfriend, and she brought her daughter, who is a senior in high school. And and I was talking to her daughter about going to college, and uh, asked because she's planning, she's applied to several colleges, and asked her what she wanted to study. And she said one of the things she was thinking of was marine biology, like which George it, Costanza's. <laughs> Yeah, like George Costanza, but that's really why I wrote the little article on Rachel Carson for this week's newsletter, because Rachel Carson was a marine biologist, and she was an award-winning author. She wrote the book, The The Sea Around Us and the Edge of the Sea. Of course, Silent Spring was her most famous book. So I mentioned to her, I said, oh, one of my favorite people is Rachel Carson. And she had no idea who I was talking about. And first of all, I, since I know so much about Rachel Carson, I always think everyone knows right. about her. <laughs> but I would think, especially if you wanted to be a marine biologist, that you would know something about her. And nope, never heard of her. And this is a straight-A student, too. Is Rachel Carson so, known for being a marine biologist or more for later on when she got into the writing the books and the roses things like that. Well, that's a good question, but her her award-winning books were Maybe. books on the books on the sea. Yeah, you think so. Sure. So, I don't know. But I it kind of made me wonder what are they teaching in school nowadays? What? <laughs> or what aren't they teaching? I was going to say it's it's what aren't they teaching? Um um but um what are you, you putting know, your finger at? I'm pointing at Brian. He knows what I'm talking okay. about. Okay. But um the it's 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 funny that you bring up this idea of you know you know what aren't they teaching in school because you know my daughter is in the second grade now and we just had the open house for her classroom and the teachers going over their curriculum and what she kind of you know focuses on and her theory on teaching and her theory on subjects and you know i i just feel like that you know my daughter's at a at a lucky or she is a lucky child because she's at a school that embraces the arts embraces science um they 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 focus on making a well-rounded student that you know someone like you know what you're mentioning john they would probably teach and you know have right. classes on and kind of go from there but you know not every school is like that and you know therefore kids get this kind of narrow-minded you know, view of what things are and how things are done. And they don't always understand why, where, where things have come from over the years. And, and it's, you, you've got to have that history because what were we talking about earlier, you know, involving, I think, you know, gardening and just understanding that in order to really be successful with, with plants and vegetable gardens or roses, you, you have to know the history of these things because you need to be able to, understand people's success and failures from the past and that's going to make you more successful and that's why we're on the show is because with years and years of experience we've had many many failures that we can you know sometimes like you mentioned with the citrus tree i went through a list of things because i assumed the guy had bought this tree and it just wasn't blooming right your opinion was like well if you started it from seed like any citrus from seed it's going to take 10 to 15 years in order to possibly get if ever on. right if ever yeah, which he planted it from seed, and 
you know, same things happen, happens with avocados, but that was years and years of experience and a well-rounded knowledge of the subject in order to be able to answer that question. So it's, it's nice to have you around, John, and give us that well-rounded... <laughs> you know, it's nice to be around sometimes. <laughs> uh, our good friend, Kathy, uh, when we were, I was telling the story about the uh, Kiffsgate Rose, uh, mentioned that Hank wouldn't let her go down, go down that hill. hill. <laughs> <laughs> Hank oh, is a wise man. Yeah, that was that was a that one is, was an amazing garden right there. Um, all in all, in that view, oh my gosh, just overlooking that valley, just phenomenal. Now, am I correct that Kiffskate was the school for? lady gardeners it was the school for lady and i think it started in like the 20s or 30s i don't remember but back then there were there were not uh definitely wasn't a school for and there were not very many women in horticulture and once they got the vote there was no stopping them Everything is coming up roses in San Diego from October 25th to 29th. Lance Walheim here, and I'm honored to be the keynote speaker at the National Convention of the American Rose Society. BioAdvance and Heirloom Roses will be co-sponsoring the 18th annual Save the Roses auction, along with the rose show, speakers, and festivities of the American Rose Society. So join me at the San Diego Crown Plaza Hotel and Convention Center, and go to GardenAmerica.com and check the homepage for links to registration and event schedule. Having bug problems this season? Need an overall solution? Try Natural Guard Spinosad Soap. This combination of spinosad and fatty acids kills aphids, mealybugs, worms, caterpillars, and other bugs that plague your garden. It's also safe to use around your fruit and veggies to make sure you enjoy your crop and not those pesky critters. Find Natural Guard Spinosad Soap in a ready-to-use bottle or ready to spray for those large garden plots at your favorite independent garden center. Go to Fertilome.com for more information. Time changes everything. For me, becoming a single father of two young kids, it changed my ability to use my timeshare. The frustration of not being able to use it was compounded by annual maintenance fees that nearly tripled over a three-year period. I was desperate to get out. After searching online for sell my timeshare or get out of my timeshare, it just looked like one scam after another. I needed a real, permanent, and legitimate way to get out of this for good. I'm Brandon Reed, the founder of Timeshare Exit Team. We will get you out of the timeshare you can't use or can't afford anymore. We get people out safely, legally, and permanently. We are more successful because we have more solutions. Schedule a free consultation to review your ownership situation and find the best strategy for you. If we can't get you out, we will give you a full refund. Call Timeshare Exit Team today. Call 800-929-8112. That's 829-8112. That's 800-929-8112. Call Timeshare Exit Team today. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill for pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-521-9579 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-521-9579 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-521-9579. That's 1-800-521-9579. Again, 1-800-521-9579. Here's important new information from the Diabetes Solution Center for you, a family member, or a loved one suffering with diabetes. If you have lost your provider or if you need a provider for diabetic supplies, you may qualify to receive your diabetic testing supplies now with little or no out-of-pocket cost, regardless of your age. All you need is Medicare or private insurance to be potentially eligible. 
Call the Diabetes Solution Center right now for details. Just takes a couple of minutes. Our friendly, knowledgeable agents will give you free, no obligation information, handle all the insurance paperwork, and make sure your supplies are delivered directly to your door for free. Call U.S. Medical Supply 24 hours a day. 800-597-9323. Call right now. 800-597-9323. Does your water stain and damage your fixtures? Does it smell or taste bad? Are you worried about what's in your water? Water quality should not be painful and worrisome. Get HydroCare Water Systems from Wave Home Solutions with the most advanced purification technologies. Call Wave Home Solutions today at 1-888-989-WAVE or go to greathealthywater.com. HydroCare will eliminate lime scale that causes hundreds of dollars in damage to pipes and appliances without using salt. Well water will no longer smell or stain your fixtures. City water will be purified of harmful chlorine, lead, arsenic, and chemicals. Wave Home Solutions provides the cleanest, healthiest water at every... one 989 wave or go to greathealthywater.com. That's greathealthywater.com. Home Solutions for a healthy, comfortable home. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Check one, two, three. This thing's not on. You're not nope. Buy, I'm just going to... Tiger, you take it. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to Garden America Radio. Hey, I wonder if you... Oh, where'd that other mic go? Um... You know, but welcome back to Garden America Radio. Since right. nobody can hear Brian, we will welcome everyone back. And John and if you're on Facebook, you can watch him. Yeah, you can just watch him make hand gestures and move his mouth, but he definitely can't hear him. Um, on the radio, supposedly, I guess we can hear him, but we don't know what we're doing. And he's telling me to slide, so I better get down. <laughs> hey, last week we did our uh, just uh, to change the subject a little bit. We did our podcast on bulbs, right? Yeah, fall bulbs, which is what people requested us to do the podcast Right, on. and I just got an email from someone, Rochelle, who said, um, I'm not able to see it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Brian says, yes. you hear it. You don't watch it. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, I'll have to look for that, and I'll have to post a link for Rochelle, because I know she's watching now. Right. Um. So when I get it second i'll make sure to look for it and, and there's a link it. in our facebook also or not our facebook our newsletter so uh -huh. if you go to our newsletter you just click on the listen to the podcast and you can go and and listen to all of those right correct you can do that right now <laughs> nobody can you guys because nobody can hear me yeah exactly <laughs> i feel like i have to repeat everything brian's saying you know, i do wonder though if anybody is listening to the radio right now um maybe Colin, do they hear Brian? You know, is I, Facebook is it a or Facebook both? or is it both issue? Because we would love to know if anybody's listening to the radio right now, can you hear Brian when he does speak or no? Yeah, you know, know, Carolyn just mentioned that your, your uh, microphone might need new batteries. So that, <laughs> that should, that should be uh, something you should check into. Yeah. We, I mentioned earlier in the show that I was going to get you a transistor radio. Maybe people could pick you up that way. Hey, you know, this is the time of the show, Tiger, where people are thinking, I wish they would have talked about this today, or um, I wonder if they're going to mention this. The answer is probably not, unless you get hold of us right now. Yeah, exactly. So if you have a, a question you do want answered today and can't wait till next week, send me a note to john at gardenamerica.com or go on Facebook and let us know, and uh, we'll be happy Happy to answer that. Now, just for you guys, I was told that I'm going out over the radio just fine. Oh, good. It's, so you can keep talking. It's Facebook. Okay. <laughs> Great. And for those that are on Facebook, informed that Brian can be heard on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, and those of you that were talking about the podcast, Brian, I am not seeing the Fall Bulbs podcast available right now. You know, I wonder if that's something Brian never got a chance to put up. Or maybe because we can't hear him, we we can't no, see I, it. I put it up. <laughs> you did put it up, huh? Because uh, Rochelle said that she just went to okay, the I'm, newsletter. I'm, I'm <laughs> 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 Brian, go to work. We don't mean to put the bad mouth on you, Brian, but we think something's wrong. Hey, so I, I wanted to ask you, Tiger, how you planted last week. We talked about it a couple weeks ago. You put in your uh, row of Podocarpus Mac. Yes. And um, and I think you hooked them all up to drip, right? Yep. How are I'm, they doing? You know what? I am very pleased with how they're doing. Um, I've watered them because it has been warm here, yeah. you know, into the high 80s, into the 90s sometimes. I, I water them by hand about once every two weeks, you know, just to give them a nice good soaking. But the drip is working out well. I haven't lost anything good, and they're all starting to set growth. Now, that is one thing I will say is that just my knowledge of how these things work is that I understand that it's got to set roots, and then I'm going to start to see some new right. growth. I'm not right. seeing a lot of new growth yet. But I am seeing growth, and I know that it's because the roots are setting at this moment. And um, well, just so you don't see the tips of the branches turning brown, that's a good that's, sign. That's that's the good sign, right? Yeah. Then you know I'm not seeing any tips dying off or anything like that. And so that's been nice. But um, the the hard part that I have um, is where they were. There were some pepper trees and some Tacoma, uh -huh. and. You have suckers coming up. I have up. suckers coming up, and I've been spraying them with an herbicide to kill them as they kind of come along. But it's just, it's going to be a process. It's going to take me a while. But it was either that or grind the stumps out and, you know, try to do that. But even then, I would still have the same problem. So I chose to just. Did you try the sucker stopper I told you? I'm trying that this weekend because okay. you had mentioned, you know, getting the sucker stopper product. I found some. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try that this weekend. I'm going to, and I'll let you know the results next week. Because I'm excited. You said that I should see results with that quickly. and yeah, not... It takes about a week, but it definitely stops them yeah. from coming up again from that spot. And that was I... the best product I ever used. And someone told me during the week, because they had a problem uh, with, I think it was a plum that was suckering. And I mentioned it to them. And they said they found a similar product from uh, Bonide. And I can't remember the name of that. Ooh, I'll have to look for it. Yeah, it's got sucker somewhere in it sucker somewhere yeah. <laughs> you're a sucker <laughs> that's but, what that's the response if uh, it doesn't work right yeah exactly sucker. um i wanted to ask you something though okay so i planted my grafted tomatoes and i have only harvested one because the rodents have gotten to them but i'm still growing them and the plants are doing well you but <laughs> um one of the grafted ones kind of laid over when it grew, and so it set roots after the graft in the soil. Mm -hmm. So the graft benefit is not anymore. Part of the graft benefit okay. uh, doesn't work. The part that uh, makes the plant resistant to diseases mm -hmm. and nematodes is no longer uh, available. But the vigorous but, but growth. But the vigorous growth is, is, you'll still get the advantage of that. Okay. But yeah, the one of the main, aside from increased production, one of the best uh, benefits of grafted tomatoes is the disease resistance. And you do lose that if the top of the plant So I have grows. to make sure in the future, I make sure I keep that plant nice and straight growing so it doesn't right. lay down. Right. And that's why when you plant them, you have to make sure you don't bury them too deep. Too deep. Yeah, and I knew that. Yeah. But okay. Hey, and then the um Bush 506. Yeah. It's about four feet tall. Just stocky. It doesn't need a cage or anything. But I still haven't gotten something to bring in. I, and I know you can't taste tomatoes, but I at least wanted to bring you one in to show it to you. Brian can no. taste tomatoes though. Okay, for those listening to the radio, you can hear me. That's gonna do it. Uh, <laughs> No, if you're on Facebook, Brian just said goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>